You're all like a bunch of sharks. I give you a little taste of AMD and you want more. So I got a bunch of them. RX 7900 XDX. This is the flagship and this is the one you saw in the previous video. The box is empty. We've got the RX 9070 XD. This currently is the top of the line RDNA 4 as opposed to RDNA 3, which is the previous architecture. But it's not the flagship. The flagship is not out yet, but it's the highest you can get right now. And I also got the uh, 9060 XT. We'll leave that for another video. Because I'll be doing all this testing for you guys, I decided, hey, I'm gonna build two identical systems. I went shopping at Micro Center. I bought all my own parts and built these two. And I thought it would be important for them to be exactly the same. So they have the exact same processor, same motherboard, same RAM and all the same configurations. So these days I'm constantly flipping between models. GPT 4.0 for notes and email, Claude for code refactors, Flux for image generation, Kling for video, four tabs, four bills, and counting. Enter chat LLM teams. There's one dashboard that houses every top LLM and route LLM picks the right one for you for a given task. O4 mini high for fast answers, Claude Sana 3.7 for coding, Gemini 2.5 Pro for big context, and even adds GPT 4.1 before ChatGPT has it. Chat with PDFs and PowerPoints, then generate decks and docs and do deep research all in the same chat. Need human sounding copy? The humanized toggle rewrites text to beat AI detectors. Spin up agents and run code with AI engineer. I built my first bot in just minutes. Track artifacts, create GitHub pull requests, and debug from the same interface. Need visuals? No problem. Use Flux or Ideogram, and recraft for images, Kling, Luma, and Runway for video all built in. And the kicker is just $10 a month, less than one premium model. Head over to chatllm.abacus.ai or click the link in the description and level up with Chat LLM Teams. Our 7900 XDX will be right here today. There we go. AMD is still catching up as far as Rock'em support. Rock'em 7 was just announced, but it's not widely available yet. So we're gonna stick with Rock'em 6.4.1 as of this video. All right. Not flagship, but supposed to be pretty good. Wow, they really wrapped this thing in plastic, huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's do a little ASMR. This one is a little bit smaller than the flagship from last generation, but it also takes two 8-pin connectors, unlike the NVIDIA machines, which take the 12-volt connector. All right, here we go. Bam. I have a bunch of RGB in my room now. We're going to kick things off in Windows here, but don't worry, Linux is coming. First thing to compare is the size of the GPUs. I don't mean the size like length and height. I mean how much VRAM they have. And this one being the flagship card has 24 gigabytes of VRAM. So you can run larger models in it. The 9070 only has 16. So we'll be limited to what we can run on that one. Let's pop open LM Studio first. Now the point of this video is to get some speed comparisons between these two and not necessarily to get the quality of the output. That's a completely different topic. Here we're just comparing hardware capability. I'm going to start things off with Vulkan and I'll explain why in a minute. Oh, uh, Alex, what is Vulcan? I have no idea what you're talking about. Is it live long and prosper Vulcan? No, it's not that one. Vulcan is basically a library that allows you to run large language models in a cross-platform way. It's a layer that lives on top of Llama CPP. It's called the Vulcan Accelerated Llama CPP Engine. Basically, if there's no native GPU support, Vulkan handles that transition for you and still allows you to run models on the GPU instead of the CPU, which is what we want. We're gonna need to select the model there. I'm gonna go with Gemma 3 1 billion and check this out. GPU offload is not available right now. Let's take a look why. You'll notice that LM Studio allows me to install Rock'em over here in uh, the runtime section and I can select Rock'em, at least I hope I can select it. What is Rock'em? Rock'em is like AMD's version of CUDA, basically a library that allows you to use parallelism inside these GPUs. So if I select Gemma 3 now, you can see that I can offload all the layers of the model to the GPU. So if I do something like write a story, and yeah, it doesn't matter what prompt it is, it could be write me a pawn game or write me a snake game. It doesn't matter because the speed will be essentially the same. Let's do write a story here. Notice I'm also offloading the 26 out of the 26 layers on the 9070 as well, but we're gonna have a very different story here. There it goes. It's pretty fast on both of these. I'm actually pretty impressed here by Vulcan. 
and I'll tell you why. On the top, we've got the 7900 XTX. This is kind of shocking to me. And 7900 XTX is running under Rockham, which is supposed to be better than Vulkan. If we take a look at the GPU performance here, you'll see that two out of the 24 gigabytes are being used. I'm gonna say write another story, and it's pretty fast. We can see that the GPU compute is active while that story is being written. So it is using that GPU. And we're getting 221.6 tokens per second here. Really good. I mean, it's a 1 billion parameter model, so it should be pretty good. Now let's take a look at this one. This is the 9070, and here we're using Vulkan. We're not using Rockham here because Rockham is not yet supported on Windows. They're working on it, AMD. You know, it's it's coming. It's, it's always coming. It's just not here yet. Anyway, Vulkan is available, and it is running. And not only that, but I'm really surprised that it's getting a higher tokens per second count 262 and that is pretty cool let's check out another popular tool called olama i've got a slightly bigger version of gemma 3 installed in olama here if you're not familiar with any of these tools that i'm talking about check out my other videos i go into more detail and i even do deep dives for the members of the channel separate videos for them as well so olama list will give us the list of all the models that are installed and we have the exact same models i'm gonna say olama run gemma 3 i'm gonna pass in the verbose flag so we can see how many tokens per second not only output but also the prompt processing which is a very important uh, factor to consider here as well especially if you're going to be submitting longer prompts which is what software developers often do when they're using this tool with ide or a code editor like vs code and a plugin like continue let's also submit a prompt here write a story and we'll do the same thing here ready to go and boom this is a race <laughs> i can hear that coil whine and it's coming from the 7900 it's really loud from that and it's done i'm really surprised at the difference here rockham is still not working with olama either not until amd fixes it up but what a huge difference vulcan was doing really well in lm studio but here in olama vulcan either doesn't seem to be working in fact take a look at that because that's extremely slow you can see that our processing is actually happening on the cpu it's using the igpu it's not using the gpu at all the 9070 we're getting 20 tokens per second here on the cpu and the integrated gpu and we're getting 121 tokens per second here this is without doing anything this is out of the box it should be that you just just install the drivers it installs everything it needs to and then it should just work so we're not quite there yet folks for the new gpus right now only the older architecture is supported in windows that's where we switch to linux now i'm going to tell you right now rockham actually works on linux but uh you have to take a guess leave a comment down below right now don't cheat don't look ahead let me know which one you think is going to win now i went and installed the drivers already of course and rockham so we should be good to go let's get into ubuntu here i love having these two set up they're just it makes me feel comfortable that they're running the exact same stuff we're in ubuntu folks 22.4 not 24 because there's some issues with support on that one go figure I'm not trying to sound sarcastic or anything now this is really cool i got power meters hooked up to these and this is the baseline this is without the gpus and they're both running at exactly 61.8 61.2 but it's pretty much the same so that's going to account for the system idle time but let's see what happens if we spin up these gpus i've got olama on these and we've got the exact same model gemma 3. Now i know this is not pushing the limit of what the gpu is capable of we're not here for that right now we're just doing a relative comparison and i may do other videos as well comparing the whole stack of all the amds and nvidia gpus too it's really tempting but that's going to be a one heck of a video anyway we're comparing just the same exact model on these let's do olama run gemma 3. here we go right uh story and let's go boom they look very close they're about the same aren't they oh, okay the older one finished faster let's do that again i want to get the power readings there they go now that noise from the xtx is crazy 440 watts 356 over here we have a huge difference in the power reading between those two wow this newer card is going to be way more efficient but it's not that far behind let's do a verbose output here dash dash verbose and i'm going to give it a query right in line here write a story so we can get all the timings and boom let's go i mean it's it's pretty close it's definitely as fast as i can read it wow that is really close 99 tokens per second over here notice this is actually slower 
then on Windows. Shh, what happened? I mean, it's not that much slower, but it's it's pretty close. I did a separate test, Windows versus Linux, and some models do much faster on Linux, but some models do faster on Windows and WSL. Really interesting test. Go check that video out. I'll link to it down below. Anyway, 92 tokens per second on the 9070 XT, so not far behind, but there is a very, very interesting thing here. Even though this one was slower at token generation, just by a little bit, it's actually much faster at prompt processing. And that has to do with a new RDNA architecture. Prompt eval rate 593 tokens per second on the new XT and only 407 tokens per second on the older RDNA architecture. And we can try this one more time. Boom. Ninety nine, ninety two, same numbers, very consistent. But this time, prompt eval rate is eight hundred sixty over here and six hundred sixty over there. Let's do it one more time. This time, we're gonna record the sound from this XTX. You'll hear it, hopefully. That's really annoying. All right, 857 tokens per second on the XT, 650 tokens per second on the XTX. That's the prompt processing, okay? Not the not the prompt generation. Prompt generation is pretty consistent, 98, 92. This is not far behind and it's not even the flagship yet. The Power Color 7900 XTX Hellhound, that's the one I have, is about a thousand bucks. And if you go with uh, the Sapphire Nitro version, that one is 1200. The new 9070 XT is 769. Here's one for 668, quite a bit less. And that's actually a really good price compared to some of the Nvidia cards that I have here. I already tested the 7900 XTX versus some Nvidia cards check out that video right over here. Thanks for watching and leave your comments down below what you want to see next. See you later.